the scale up and down. And if you go through all the chords of the G scale, like see, see if you do this. As you play all these chords, so I keep doing the G major scale as I go from chord to chord, the notes of that chord will illuminate out of the run. All right, cool. You don't have to chase always every arpeggio. The only times you sometimes you do that just to try to find new like sequences of fingerings, you know, what I mean? because his is see there's your uh, there's your G major seven, right? here's your A minor seven, right? B minor seven, C major seven. But you don't realize when you play the scale up and down as the chords are being played, those notes are popping out. Follow what I mean? Yeah, definitely. But I mean, it does get boring just doing this. So when I did the first part of all of me. What exactly was that that you were doing when you were doing this little thing? With like just you, you're just playing like the the melody and you're adding little like yeah. I, see, I have holes, and I fill in be, on the holes of the melody. That's usually the best solo in the beginning. All right, but I, all right, I got that. But now, like, what are you filling it in with? That that's the, any notes of the G scale. Or, or when the, I go like, to B seven. What's the you only, could do that run right? The like only the, note that I have to make is the D sharp. That's the only note that's different yeah, to the okay. G scale. So I want to bring that note out. You see, look at this. You can hear, you can still hear the tune. Exactly. See, I'm just making the key notes.